Before beginning this skill, you must knock and introduce yourself with your name and title and identify your patient by name. Explain what you will be doing and obtain consent. Tell the patient that you will be closing the curtain and washing your hands and will return in a moment. Upon returning, tell the patient that they'll need to remain quiet during that time. Position yourself at the patient's bedside within sight of a watch or a clock. Elevate the patient's forearm with your non-dominant hand, position two fingers over the pulse point, and place your thumb on the back of the patient's wrist. Do not use your thumb to locate the patient's pulse. Once you have located the patient's pulse, look at the clock and pick a starting point. Many people start counting when the second hand reaches 12, but you can start at any point on the clock, as long as you stop exactly one minute from that point. Glance at the clock periodically, but do not watch the clock, because you will count the seconds rather than the patient's pulse. Say start and begin counting the patient's pulse. Each thump that passes under your fingers is counted. A normal pulse for an adult is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. When the heart squeezes, it produces a wave of blood that travels through the arteries. You can feel this wave by placing pressure on an artery close to the surface of the body. Pressing too hard or too lightly will not allow you to feel the pulse. You will need to practice this skill to develop the appropriate technique. If during this skill you lose the pulse that you had previously located, vary the pressure under your fingers. You may start again if you have lost count for any reason. Gently place the patient's hand back on the bed and ask if they need anything. Give them their call light and open the privacy curtain. Thank your patient and wash your hands. This skill requires documentation, so you will need to write down the patient's pulse on the documentation sheet provided. After documenting, review your skill, make any corrections, and tell the evaluator your skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For Your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step by step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.